Hi, and welcome to The Fun Accountant. My name is Dominique, and this video is part one of a two-part video showing you how to navigate a tax validation failure received from SARS when submitting the Annual Reconciliation Declaration, or your EMP 501. In part one, I will be teaching you how to find where the validation failure occurred, and in part two, we will fix it. I will be working through a case experienced by one of our TFA clients. This video originated because we experienced a validation failure for the client and spent a lot of time researching online, holding for support, and still coming up short. Eventually, we found the solution ourselves and would like to share it with you, saving you the hassle and time to search for a solution elsewhere. The process started with communications received by SARS stating a validation error occurred in your EMP 501 submission. You will see what this letter looks like. The chances are that you in the future will experience this problem, or maybe you already have. Since your EMP 501 submission was accepted by SARS, it's difficult to comprehend that an error actually occurred. In our previous videos, we have mentioned the Sage City community, where you can pose problems to the community in the hope of finding answers. Our search for more answers led us to the Sage City community, where it is clear that other people also struggled with an error received after successfully submitting an EMP 501 declaration. This query was posted on Sage City community. The post reads, Hi there, I have submitted my return via easy file. No errors. I received a letter after submission stating payroll taxes validation failure. After the first attempt, I went to Easy File Utilities, EMP501, and viewed the list of failures. It does not view properly, but what I would make out is two names and that pay as you earn should not have been deducted. Please help. I am at my wit's end. I'm sure we all felt that. Where can I properly view the errors on Easy File? Don't worry, I've got you. You're about to learn. How can I resolve the problem if it is not VIP? These failures are rarely from your Sage payroll softwares. Automatic calculations leave little opportunity for errors. Okay, let's get started. If a failure with your tax submissions has occurred, you will be notified by SARS via email that SARS has issued correspondence, which requires your attention. To view correspondence from SARS, you are required to log into your SARS e-filing profile or use the SARS Mobi app. Log into your SARS e-filing profile. SARS e-filing is a free online process for the submission of returns and declarations and other related services. Search for your company or select your company by clicking on the blue View Taxpayer button. To the left of your screen is a blue sidebar menu. Select the first menu item, SARS Correspondence, and then select Search Correspondence. Click on the blue View button next to the applicable document. In this case, we want to view the Payroll Taxes Validation Failure document. The document will open in a new window. The feedback document instructs us to download a validation calculation file containing details of the failure. I am going to download the file from SARS Easy File because that is the channel which was used to submit the employer's annual declaration. Log into SARS Easy File with your login details. Select your company and click the Continue button to access the company's database. To the left of the screen is a sidebar menu. Select the menu item Utilities. In the System Utilities, select EMP501 Status Dashboard. Highlight your company by clicking on it and then click the Download Employment Taxes Validations file. You will be asked to enter your login details again. Now a View button is available for your company. Select View. As you can see, the file is not in a readable format. You will need to select the Save button and download the Validation Calculation file. The Validation Calculation file is a tiled, delimited file. This means we need to open the file using Excel. Open Excel. Select Open 
to open the validation calculation file you have downloaded. At the bottom of the browser window, next to the file name, is a drop-down where you need to select all files as the format of the file we want to open is not a .exe file. Select the file. Excel will open the text import wizard. The import wizard will detect the data format as delimited. Select Next. Now we need to set the delimiters in our data. As you can see here, and as stated earlier, we have a tiled delimited file, meaning our delimiters are the tiled symbol. Select Other and enter the tiled symbol found on your keyboard. Select Next. You may skip this step in the text import wizard and complete it. Select Finish and wait for the spreadsheet to open. Now we can see which employee certificate has a validation failure and what failure has occurred. In part two of this video, I will show you how to correct a failed tax certificate and resubmit the EMP 501. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something from today's video. And if you did, please like this video before you leave. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can keep joining us as we create videos to help you conquer cloud solutions and take your business to new heights. Let us know in the comments below what topics you would like us to cover. See you next time. Bye.